the birds. I. Pow, pow, pow! <laughs> you call this a park? I find it dull. The scenery's totally lacking in imagination. <laughs> Why did we have to bring him? Well, the more the merrier. Except when you're talking about chins. <laughs> My Aunt Miriam had more chins than the Chinese phone book. <laughs> <laughs> that joke sold. I heard it on the Flintstones. Which, by the way, was a pale imitation of the Honeymooners. His father is a critic. It's hereditary. <laughs> I'm bored. Give me some food to feed the squirrels. You don't need food. Just lie down and make believe you're dead. <laughs> Why, does that kid have a mouth on him or what? Does he take after his father? Who knows? I met his father for five minutes, and that was enough. Apparently. I didn't want him. Next thing I knew, he was on his way, and now I'm stuck with him. <laughs> I'm just furious with Mr. Sheffield. The little boy's father? No, the little girl's father. The little boy's is Mr. Bradley. You call them both Mr.? Well, I don't really know either of them that well. <laughs> What? Oh, you think that me and them are there? Oh, I'm the nanny. <laughs> oh, hey, Frank, don't aim that at her. <laughs> Good boy. You're very patient. Maybe I should get a nanny. Oh, you really should, with one baby and another one on the way? And two more at home. Oh, honey, you don't need a nanny. You need a hobby. <laughs> Sophie, you're going to make her bold! <laughs> hey, Frank, quit it. There's no hair club for dolls. <laughs> Frank, did you hear me? Frank, he's pulling my hair. Frank, get off of her before I count to three. One, two... Two and a half? Two and three quarters? Three, three, three! Oh. Wow. Oh. You hit me! I did not. Did so? I'm going to tell my father on you. Oh, I'm really shaking. What's he going to do? I hear your boss has a new play coming up. Who are you, Siskel and Ebert? 